Hey everyone, in this video, I'll be showing you how to get this Korean font in League of Legends. Now the first step is to go to runeforge.io. On their page, on the top right, you'll see a button that says download app. You want to click on download app and it'll redirect you to this page where it'll tell you how to download and install their client. Now, once you click on this link right here, it'll redirect you to a GitHub page and for Windows users, you want to click on the windows.exe file, whereas for Mac users, you guys will want to click on the .xz file. Now there's one more thing that you need to download. That's the actual zip file that contains the Korean font. Now I'll give you the Google Drive link in the description below. Simply click on it. And once you click on it, you want to navigate to the left of the three dots where it says download and simply download the file. Once you finish downloading both files, what you want to do next is go to CS Low Manager Windows, the application, and you want to double click on it. Now this will prompt you to extract the files and you want to proceed with that. And once you finish extracting the files, you'll be given this folder right here that says CS Low Manager. Double click it and then you want to double click on CS Low Manager, the application. Now this will pop up right here. And the next thing that you want to do is open up your lead client. As you can see, my lead client is now loading. And once this lead client loads, what we want to do is go into a practice lobby. Now, once we click on play, we want to go to training, go to practice tool, confirm, start game, choose any character, and wait until you load into the lobby. Now, once you're in the lobby, you can go back to the CS Low Manager, and there'll be an option right here to actually run the patcher for it. Now, what you want to do is go back to your downloads folder. You want to drag the previous file with the font fix, drag it into the client, and then what you want to do is make sure it's checked and click on Run Patcher. Now, once the patcher is finished, you'll see in the game that your font will be changed. Now, since we already went into the game without the patcher actually being ran, what we have to do is we want to exit and we want to re-enter the game. Once we enter this game, the font will now be the Korean font. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks for watching.